What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we got another search and recovery video coming for you today. Today we are actually going out to look for a cell phone that has been dropped in the water inside of a dock area so it's in between say the dock and the boat itself and so I'm gonna show you kind of how I set up for it and how I do a quick search for it and hopefully it'll be a very quick and successful search as well all right guys I need to admit something up front before we get into this video I kind of feel like these videos are getting pretty redundant and I feel like you guys have seen me go out and do these searches hundreds and hundreds of times and I talk about the same thing in the video over and over and I don't really give you new any new tips or techniques and there's a couple of reasons why uh, first of all these tips and techniques they work and if you follow these tips and techniques you're going to be more successful during your search and recoveries but another reason we do these videos over and over and over is because we're constantly getting new subscribers and new viewers and we want them to be just as successful and learn just as much as you have in our previous videos as well so that's why we do these videos over and over now to start to search out first of all I am looking for a cell phone I'm in about 15 foot of water and I'm up underneath a dock uh, system basically the uh, client said he was stepping off his boat he dropped his phone between the uh, dock and his boat as well so I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm doing here basically I've, I've set up a downline that's what that line is you guys keep seeing coming from the surface um, if you don't know what a downline is basically it's a reference point you put a line on a weight system and drop it in the water exactly where the client says they've lost whatever object it is you're looking for and it gives you a good starting point once you're underwater that's where you're gonna start your search another great thing that you can use this line for is to help determine what your search radius is going to be so we all know that we've got a thing called drop radius and if you don't know what drop radius is click this little link up top here and it'll kind of help explain how drop radius works and how you can use it to be more successful but by dropping a line in the water I can measure the line I can measure the depth and that's also going to be equal to whatever my search radius is going to be as well now before I get into the search I'm just going to do a quick survey and what I'm looking for during the survey year is just basically debris what's on the bottom because based off the what debris I see that's also going to help me determine what search pattern is going to be the best and once I've done that I'm also looking to see what the bottom composition is like if it's hard I know that the cell phone is going to be laying right on top of the bottom if it's a really soft bottom then I know that I may need to search below the silt line and you know that phone could very easily you know sink down in the silt once it hits the bottom so there's a lot of things that I look for just prior to starting a search now this particular search I'm just doing a basic circle search it's a flat enough bottom and there's not much debris there and one thing that I really like about a circle search you can do this by yourself you don't have to have a buddy there as long as you've got something to attach a line to you can do a circle search very methodically and be successful uh, doing it by yourself if you're out doing uh, solo search and recovery but I'm just basically doing a circle search I'm using my visibility or the clarity here to help me determine how wide of circles that I'm gonna make or you know whatever my radius is gonna be and I think I'm doing about a two foot circle here so I'm circling around the line two foot moving over another two foot and then doing another search and I'm just going to constantly do that until I come across the phone. Now, once I do come across the phone, I'm going to kind of reorient myself to my um, to my downline there, and I'm going to use that downline to ascend back to the surface as well. And that way, I don't come up underneath a boat or up underneath the dock line, and that just helps protect me uh, during my ascent phase. But I'm going to do one final sweep here, and I think this is the last sweep I made on this one. So I did about a two-foot search, and I did a four-foot search, and now I'm going to move over and try to do a six-foot. And, and in all honesty, I'm just going to keep going until I find it. But you can see here, I found the phone. It was about six foot away from my uh, search line there, or, or my reference line, and I was very successful in finding the phone there. And I'm going to move right back up to my uh, downline, or my reference line, and I'm just going to make a slow, safe ascent. This way I don't hit my head on anything on the way up. I'm being safe and of course I can uh, always stay oriented with exactly where I'm at when I'm underwater. So there you go guys, a very quick successful search and thankfully the phone was still working. My client was very happy with it and of course kept the credibility going as well but guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something from it if you did give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys
We appreciate your business.